welcome to Moderating for Dummies, a how-to show for moderating dummies just like me. Now, last time in this kit bash series, we painted the walls for our main building. As you recall, we got this front brick face. Now we're going to try and get that those nice brick mortar lines, which can be very difficult, but there's a product out there that works great for it. It's called Robert's Brick Mortar Formula. Now this is a white material that you brush on and you can rub the top off after it's dried and it gives you a nice good look of brick mortar. Really nice. And if you want to, if you want more of a gray type cement instead of white, you can easily tint this stuff. But I, I'm going with white. Um, here's an example, my only example, of how this stuff works with this station that I built. I mean, I don't know exactly how well you can see it on the video, but these bricks just pop. And I love it. So we're going to use that, this stuff for right here. So hopefully it'll make that pop more too. And hopefully hide the stupid crack right here from when I screwed up. So, without any further ado, let's go down to the bench and get to it. Okay, I've got this all mixed up now. So, let's see if that makes a difference. Just hopefully the bubbles will soon go away. You may need to put on more than one coat. So, note to self, make sure you seal it as the, the top as best you may. So, and when you haven't used this stuff for over a year, chances are it needs a very, very good mix. Okay, that's that. Let's tip. Let's see, let's move this a little closer. And start putting it on here. Got these upright brick pieces that need to get as well. I hope it's in focus. I, I've not been doing very good at doing the part that I'm actually working on being actually on, on the camera. So hopefully you're able to see this. 
Hey, this is really simple. It is foolproof. Provided, of course, it, it's not been sitting in the jar for over a year. There, I think that's looking good. And now it looks like this. It will have to dry. Then we wipe off basically everything but what's in the cracks. Okay. So we'll wait for this to dry. Once it's dry, then we'll rub it off. Okay, now it's all dry. So now I've got a damp cloth here that we can use to rub this off. Kind of see how it leaves it in the cracks, but All the stuff off the on the bricks come off. And if you get too much off, no big deal. Just give it another coat. Okay, now we're for the main building. It's going to be a lot of the same. The, the big trick will be clean out the inside so it's kind of shaped up. So what I'm going to try and do is take a knife and carefully... Okay, I just washed out my cloth. I'm going to use a Q-tip here to try and get in these Places. Let's see, Need to blot out a little of the water. Oh, I broke this loose by accident. That's easy enough to fix. Okay. Now this has had time to dry. So now we're going to stain this. So, what I got here is 70% isopropyl rubbing alcohol, and if I'm not mistaken, it's been a while since I've done this, but if I'm not mistaken, I've got one, either teaspoon and tablespoon in here. And I don't remember which one <laughs> at the moment. It's about, See, if I'm not mistaken, it is about a capful. Oh, what it is? Yeah, it's probably a tablespoon. Okay. So, as far as I know, it's a tablespoon. So, one tablespoon of India ink mixed with a full bottle of 70% ice purple rubbing alcohol. Oh, that, say that three times fast. Now, 
dip our brush in there, get it out of the light, and bring it down where the so you want to bring it down with the rain <laughs> instead of go with the grain go with the rain so you can see how it it darkens up the cement and it darkens up the paint So you can use different amounts of rubbing alcohol or you can use different amounts of how much India ink you put in with the rubbing alcohol to get different effects. I've I just got the one, which is sort of a compromise. You, your darker stuff is gonna be around and, um A little something there, I don't know what it was. But your darker stuff's gonna be around two tablespoons and your lighter stuff's gonna be half of that. So I I may I've made one. I may you're better off going a little bit lighter and building it on. You see how dirty that looks? It looks great. And it helps the nice thing about the India ink wash, it hides poor modeling. If you want to highlight something, use a lighter color. If you want to hide something, use a darker color. Well, I'm using darker color to hide my poor painting skills. And to get the effect, uh, get the impression that this is an older building. This has been around for oh let's say oh, at least 60 years so I, I get most of it loose so it's it's just it isn't the brush is not full but it's not dry brushing you can dry brush if you want. Once again, hopefully the indie ink will help hide my stupid mistake I made here. Okay, make sure to get the back too. Try and get nice streak effect. Now, I'm not going to do the whole building, but I will eventually do the rest of it. Now, I see that I'm kind of dry brushing it here and bringing it on small layers. I don't know how well you can see this. If you could compare. Second thought, I'm going to be putting these in the windows here, so I may have to. 
you get on basically all of this stuff off. Need to get more off. But on the so it's basically dry. You can get a light streaking effect. And it looks nice. It's these little details that matter. There. So, there's a couple little spots. Holy smokes, that looks awesome. <laughs> it's looking better than I thought. I was thinking... And... When the, when the stuff didn't come off as good as I, I expected it would. It was a disappointment, but man. I love this look. It just looks so dirty. Just got down and dirty and awesome. Just what I want. I want the building to look like it's been around for a good many years yeah so that's how putting the mortar lines and then using just a little bit of an indie ink wash can really just make this building pop. It just looks so much realist, so realistic. I know I'm I keep on saying that, but it does. It's the little details that matter and make one thing stand out. Well, that's going to be it for today. I tell you. I just can't get over the looks of this. It just looks so good. So it's that's just showing how two small tips, or two small tricks, can make a building from an ordinary plastic kit and actually make it look like a real ma like a real building in miniature. But still, the, those little things that count. So, if you like this show, please help it grow by liking it or subscribing or, or contacting your friends and getting them to subscribe as well. So until next time, keep working on those model railroads. Keep, get, get that practice in. And until next time, keep your train on the tracks.